Okay, guys, welcome back. So that uh, this is our final video for today's course. So uh, I maybe have uh, more than uh, seven topic for these sections. So first, uh, we have to know how many records are there currently and how many fields. So 多少笔的资料 and 多少个栏位 So you can use the function we use the ship function to check the dimension for your data set. Okay. So okay. So what is the function for to check the field name? So you use the columns, right? DF columns. They will show all the column names for you guys. A list to check the list for you. And how many customers are in totals? So for all the transactions, more almost four hundred thousand transactions. Do you know how many customers for this one year transactions? So here I would like to introduce a function we call unique function. What is unique mean? You guys know better than me. Unique is the only one. To show me the only one elements for each columns, so we can use DF. So X, we use the data frame DF, and use the column name, customer ID, because we want to find how many customers, right? Right. So we can use the customer ID to identify the unique customer ID each. So we use this function df dot customer id dot unique. So please turn, please show me the unique elements for each columns id. So the answer will show all the unique customer id for you guys. But it's hard for us to count how many, right? It only show the customer id for 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 us. But you can use the function for length. Every and it means length. Please tell me the length for all the customer unique function. The result for the unique function length. Okay, so you got the answers. So for all the transactions, so how many customers for one year transaction is four thousand three hundred thirty nine customers. For all the transactions, we have four thousand three hundred thirty-nine customers. So you know the power for Python for the computer language. For more than five, uh, more than five, uh, five hundred thousand records, is e not easy for us to calculate the unique functions for our customers. So that's why you have to learn the the tools like Python. So it's easy for you guys to do the uh, business analytics. So it's we it's easy for you guys to know. Okay. So for all the transactions, we only have uh, more than four thousand customers. Okay. So for my question number eight, please answer. How many customers are there? For all the orders, so all you guys know the answers. Okay, okay. So the same questions. So how many items for these transactions? So you just replace the customer ID with the column name for customer and the start code, right? Start code is the code number. For our item, for our product, so we just replace the customer ID with star code, and use the same function unique. Please tell me the unique star code, please. So it will give a list for the star code, but it's we meet uh, we have the same problem. It's hard for us to calculate the numbers. So we use the the length function again to calculate the stock 
code. Okay, so with this function, you know for all the transactions for this one year's transactions. So how many stock items for this retail? So there are 3,665 items for their online retail market. So they have 3,665 Right? Okay. So without this information, it's hard for us to do the analytics uh, advance. And also, please answer the question number 9. So how many items are in these orders? So you know the answers. Okay? Okay, so the same question for the invoice number. So you guys should know how to do it. Just replace with the stock code, with the column name, the invoice number. So it's the invoice number, okay? Fabio Hong. So you get the list for unique invoice number and calculate the sum, the length for the invoice numbers. So you guys know, so they are totally more than uh, one. Uh, 18,000 18, transactions invoice numbers. So it's is your Okay. Okay, so you can answer my question number 10. Okay, so doing the same thing, so how many uh, uh, customers from how many uh, country? So how many country for the for your customers and what is the name for the country okay so you can do in the same thing so we just use the country unique list the country name for us so you can find the country name the first one is united kingdom france australia north Island, germany norway right so how many country for all the customer coming from? Thanks for the country unique. So you know the customers is coming from uh, 37 country in the world for all the online retail. So you know the answer for my question number 11. Okay, so for the final part for today's course is very difficult, so you have to take a look at. If I want to let you count what is the day for tracking, okay, how long for the, uh, for the tracking day for all the online retail? You maybe use the invoice day to calculate the invoice date unique. And you use the same function length to calculate the unique invoice day. So how so so how many days for the trade trading? What is more than third, uh, for, uh, seventeen thousand is more than seventeen thousand. So it was 17, 17, ten. But we only keep one year transaction, right? So what? So the unique for the invoice day is more than one year, Be much more, okay, than one year. So what is the problem? So you may see the invoice day they didn't just keep the day for the transaction. They also keep the time for their transaction. Our limit and all the way to the second. So for this one, they are in the same day, but with the different timing for the date. So you know we have extra, so we didn't calculate it right, right? 
So uh, the trade up to 17,000 days. So the answer is definitely not, right? Okay, so you can use the maximum function to find out what is the biggest, the, the last day for the transaction. So the maximum. So you know the, the last transaction for the online retail is 2011 December 9th. And what is the minimum? Minima is the, the first one, the first transaction for this online retail is back to 2010 December 1st. So you know the first and you know the last day for the transaction. Can we use the minus to calculate the difference between these two days, right? Okay, so you get the uh, you you get the answers. So they only uh, so before the maxima and the minima is uh, three hundred thirty three. Somebody cheese something. Is this answer right or not? Okay, so you may take a quick look at for the the index one. For the first one, we can use the first three lines here. Say they also keep the same uh, timestamp for one transactions. Okay, here is some process we handling with the time day to stream because we had to uh, create. A three new field name. We separate with the year, month, and date. So you know for the in, uh, invoice date, they keep all the timestamp: year, month, day, hours, minute, all the way to second. There are six colors for the day time. So we only to keep the year month date okay so we have to generate three new fields name each for the invoice date so we import the function we call day time package with the day time package we can use the function to retrieve the year the month the day separate for our cost, uh, invoice date. So we only retrieve the year and re, re, uh, restore back to a new column we call year. The same way we do for the month, the date. So we generate three columns, which is year, month, and date. And you may find our new result for for our data set df. So you can see at the end of our right hand side here we generate a new three variables here. Year, month, date. Year is 2010, month December, day first. So you can find here invoice date. So we successfully create a three variables here and next we uh, to find the columns for the new data set right we generate a three new variable which is year month date and then we also to create to generate a uh, invoice date too and only with the timestamp with year, month, day, this format, not with the hour, minute, and second. We only keep the three format, only keep year, month, and date. So we can do the same things as we create the three new variables. Okay, so here we got our 
a new five a new four colors fish year month day and invoice date why i want to create a new a three new variables because uh, for later analyze we have used to group by year by month and for my question for the last question number 12 so you can use this one invoice day because we only keep the day for the invoice happened not the hours not the minute right so here you can see it okay so with the last variable we call invoice day 2 so we only keep the format with year month and date okay so you guys maybe know how to calculate my questions number number 12 right okay so so we use the same process as we did before so you find the invoice day for the first three rows 2010 December 1st and then we use the unique function again and also we use length to calculate how many tracking day for this data set so there are only 305 days for the transactions so we know the answers so we know the numbers of day of this transaction time is 305 days okay so my last question for today's video is please give me your idea what did you learn from my videos after this data analytic process do you understand what the role for our data analytics break in our e-commerce sales especially for this online retail okay so please show me your answers answer your questions your your result here okay for the next uh, topic I would like to do the business analytics to do the grouping okay so you guys to know how to use the grouping for more uh, data analytics okay so that's all for uh, this week's course see you guys next week so hopefully you uh, okay so you have to submit your call lab to share with us okay so you can use this one to share with your homework don't forget you have to change the permission with your call lab so you have to change to change who knows the hyperlink can access with your call lab okay so don't forget to do this process and finish and then copy your hyperlink and just pass your hyperlink in our island system as your homework for today okay I hope you guys can enjoy today's videos if you have any questions so you can have the questions uh, in our Facebook group okay see you guys and safe uh, stay safe at home okay bye bye